Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger with a full tank review on the Panzer 58. What you see in the garage here is a German Tier 8 medium. Look at this nice looking tank. It is currently for sale, the dreaded Panzer. 7,500 gold, which is a, a, a number we've come to kind of expect for Tier 8 premium tanks, but it also comes with all nine equipment slots. The camo and 30 days of premium time so it is quite a good deal uh, but is it a good tank well I'll talk about that but what got me interested in purchasing this tank is the playstyle of the Panzer 58 resembles that of the German tier 9 and tier 10 leopards uh, does it though I'm not quite sold on that statement um, before I get started here, guys, hope everyone is doing well. It's March 17th, and we are obviously in the middle of coronavirus, and uh, social distancing is the new hot topic, and yes, uh, my work has asked me to try to work remotely as much as possible. Uh, schools here in Georgia are closed for the rest of the month, um, so we're doing what we can to, I guess, help reduce the spread of this virus, but not too worried about it if we do get sick. Um, as we are not in uh, any of the categories that we might have to worry about it. But for those of you that are, please stay safe out there um, and obviously limit your contact with other people. Um, but yes, if you can see here down at the bottom of the screen, tier 8 medium tank premium, there are so many to choose from. And the problem for me with this Panzer 58 is that it is, in my opinion, towards the bottom um, of the tanks that that you could potentially own so while it is a good deal I'm not so sold on it being a great tank um, obviously nice looking tank you do get a few little troll bounces off of the rounded turret uh, two, 10 degrees of gun depression a super accurate gun which is is really nice um, but if I switch on over here to to vehicles you'll see after 23 games I'm sitting at 53 percent win rate um, and only 1372 damage but with an accuracy of almost 89 percent um, keep in mind for those that, that you follow me on discord I have been struggling a little bit here with lag so part of my problem there has uh, has been with um, poor connection so to speak but um, want to just run through the provisions here. You can see chocolate bar, improved fuel, chocolate, ammunition, 31, 12, and 5. And always remember here, guys, to switch the, the premium over to credits uh, and equipment. Uh, running gun rammer, defense system, improved optics, enhanced gun lane drive, improved assembly, engine accelerator, uh, vertical stabilizer. This is probably the one that you could probably switch out to refined gun, um, but this is a, a faster medium tank, so I'm playing it, shooting more on the move. This is going to help with uh, those type of shots. Enhanced tracks and consumable delivery system. And and I do have a goal to quickly get out uh, a video on each one of these nine categories and go into detail as to why I choose what I do. Um, just in general for all tanks so look for that coming out shortly and if you haven't already guys please hit that subscribe button also we've got the tier 8 damage challenge going on for a few more days still time to get two gift cards uh, to the top two and damage at tier 8 alright so let's break these tanks down a little bit and then do some gameplay all right, guys, here's Blitzstars.com, and I'm just going to run through this real quick. But looking at DPM, you're close to the top with all of these being premium tanks here. And 212, I mean, look at the, some of these others, 175, 180, which is why I'm saying you don't really need to worry about calibrated shells. You can run the gun rammer. Um, it's a 90 millimeter gun, and you've got 1,000 meters per second on your shell velocity. Again, um, helping this gun just be super, super accurate. 1.72 on your aim time. Dispersion without any equipment is right at 0 .30, so that's great. Um, we can also help get that down with equipment, obviously 10 degrees of gun depression. Um, so here's where we get into some nuts and bolts here. 
movement and mobility. You've only got 50 kilometers per hour, and this is what I'm saying. This is not comparable, in my opinion, to the Leopards, um, and I'll bring that up here in a second. But you do have 19 horsepower to ton ratio, which is a lot better than most of these uh, tier 8 premiums. Um, you know, you've got the AMX and Progetto here. Uh, I think, nope that um, fall into that a little bit faster category. Um, so if you're familiar with those, it'll give you a good idea of where we're at. Um, credit coefficient 175, so it's going to make you some good money. Um, and the turret armor 120 on the front. Like I said, you're going to get some bounces, and I'll show you a graphic on that in just a second. But look at this, though. Um, your win rate, look at all this green, meaning all of these tanks do better than this tank. So, um, you know, something's a little bit off in my opinion. Um, right now, the damage of 4,000 compared to some of these that are uh, in the 6,000. So, um, if I do bring it up real quick and compare it to the Leopards, um, look at this movement and mobility, 65. So, you know, horsepower to ton, 23. It is not the same feeling as driving a Leopard, so um, don't let that fool you. And, you know, just to give an idea of where it compares with the rest of all mediums, with all of the equipment here, using Blitz Hangar, great, great website. Use this one. Uh, but, um, you know, you can see here where shell velocity and reload time, so you can brawl in this tank because you do have a high DPM one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but just look at this gun handling. All of this green is great. And then the mobility. Uh, you do have the mobility, so the downside there is obviously a lack of armor. So let's see it in battle. All right, guys, here we are, Winter Malinovka's bottom tier. And uh, tuned up with Walkie Talk, uh, obviously being off school, gives him a little bit more time for us to play together as uh, we are in control of his homework and schedule 100% right now. Um, so it's a little bit different. And uh, like I said earlier, if you've been following me um, on Discord, you know I've had some Wi-Fi issues, lag, what have you. Um, I think partly some of that might have been the new Mad Games that's been out, which was really fun, but, um, you know, I think it's been hitting me pretty hard. I've been having packet loss upwards of 80%, but who says taking blind shots doesn't pay off, right? Look at that. Look at that T92E1. It's already taken some damage. Got it like that. Um, the reason I was really staying back was uh, Walker was a little late getting into the game. And uh, so I wanted to make sure that he wasn't totally left behind. Uh, here we are, 220 meters away. That shot just goes a tad bit high. I am spotted uh, because that IS-2SH was on the move. Uh, I felt it was safe for me to stay there and get a second shot in. Uh, had he been stationary and aimed at me, I would have backed away. But here you go, here's a good opportunity to see the tank accelerate uh, 40 kilometers per hour here. You know, it just does not turn, it does not feel like a leopard feels, so, um, you know, it, it is a little bit closer to the Bergetto if you have that tank. Here I saw them pushing on our Tiger, and... Uh, knew that they would be coming across that opening so I was able to get set up ahead of time and get that shot in. Not much I can do for that poor guy uh, and as you can see we are down a couple tanks already. And since this is you know more of a sniping tank I think it is better played kind of in a, a much more of a support backline type of tank if you can get these kind of shots um, and play a game very similar to this in it uh, you're gonna do pretty well it's a tier 9 that's the side of a tier 9 tank and you know it didn't seem like we had too much problem penning in there uh, we did get a little high on that shot probably into um, some of the spaced armor on the side but you know, we're, we're hitting these shots, we 
good frequency um, and you can see how fast this gun reloads and now we've evened it up three on three I like how Walkie Talk did a great flyby through all of those tanks, got his shot in, and got to safety. Um, a very good tactic for driving a light tank like that T-49. And there he is to help finish off the T-92E1. So now we're up two tanks to one. Um, you know, and, and Walkie Talk's in the room with me, so I know he's about to shoot. Um, I'm now probably a one-shot to this WZ. And you hear Walkie Talk's shot bounce. And so I'm like, I got to get back to safety. We got another one to go. And we're finished off uh, just over 3,000 damage. I'm going to switch over to Walkie Talk here. Um, speed it up. Maybe a little bit too fast. But, you know, one of the things I've been trying to teach Walkie Talk here is to take his time and not rush these one on one situations. And he's in a situation here where he can get really close and get his shot off. Uh, and get the kill and not miss. Oftentimes he rushes that and misses. But 3k damage, 13 shots landed. We bounced a couple. Um, we took three shots there, didn't bounce any. So here we are, top tier on Hellas. And, um, you know, I think you saw that game as a good example. What I had found myself doing too frequently in this tank is getting it too close to the front lines and you just can't bounce enough shots and you just can't rely on your teammates enough uh, so this really in my opinion is kind of second line support follow the mediums or follow the heavies um, and, and just get supporting shots in and if you're lucky enough to get you know into positions where you can use this pretty quick uh, reload 6.1 seconds here um, you know you can start dishing out the damage but it, it's not like a t54 mod 1 where you want to get into a brawling situation um, you know it, it's just a, an overall average tank and and that's kind of why I say you know unless you're a collector of tanks I don't see myself bringing this tank out and saying oh my god I have to play this tank today. It's just not that. Um, you know, it's just very plain, pedestrian, basic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can see here we've got into a nice position where we're using our 10 degrees of gun depression here. But again, no problems whatsoever with Pen, with our AP. I mean, even that Panther's angled backwards. And you, we're just pulling forward, snapping our shot in there. We're not even stopping to aim. And here we are on the full move on the Pantera. So in that regard, you know, as far as a aggressive on the move tank, this this tank does well. The, don't get me wrong, this gun is super accurate. What are you guys thinking of this new map? Um, hearing uh, a lot of positives and quite a few negatives. I wanna, when we first started it, I thought, wow, this map feels big, but now not so much, and there's really not a lot of crossfire through the middle. Uh, there's some good places on the outsides to get some shots in, but for the most part, um, I do like all of these rubble and shot you know places you can get protection and I think that's been kind of fun so anyway um, don't forget um, well let me go back to the game here uh, you know I've spotted up two tanks and don't want to rush in so I am again relying on myself not my teammates and letting them take as much of the damage as I can conserving hit points is our number one goal when we go into these battles um, but what I was going to say is, don't forget guys, we've got a couple more days. We've got $25 we're giving away in gift cards, and it's for tier 8 top damage. Mad Games does not count, um, but we've got a specific channel set up on Discord. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel here, and, and come on over to Discord and submit your game. 
I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're in the high 5,000s for the top two games right now. So um, come on over, check those games out on replay, and uh, you know, join us. We're having fun over there, and of course, our ultimate goal is to get to 10K subscribers by the end of the year. Um, but this is a great example of just keeping the gun on target, doing damage the whole time. Uh, very little difficulty with pen. That's a level one, 97,000 credits, 3,500 damage, 15 shots. Um, so, so there you have it with this tank. Um, not a recommendation for me. Um, unless you are just an absolute collector of these things. So stay safe out there, guys. Have fun. Get educated, not fingered. A little finger out.